Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Nightfall Ordeal. It's an Insight Terminus, it's a 980. I'm going to be doing it on the Warlock, as you can see on the screen. All weapons and armor with mods is shown on the screen. So I'm going to do a little introduction into this. Uh, yeah, it was difficult. <laughs> this is, I think it's a 42 minute run. i done a run maybe yesterday and it, it was like a 50 49 50 minute run i wasn't happy with the time so i managed to pull down the time a little bit so the hardest thing of this strike i believe uh is the boss now it's not difficult as in tough and it's just there's a lot of things that have got to go your way to make it an efficient run but there are things you can do to make it uh slightly easier for yourself so obviously with this being a 980 we're going to face a champion right here so as you can see i'm just gonna charge a grenade and we're gonna use ariana's now I, i'm not a lot of people have noticed that i actually use ariana's quite a bit and the reason why is it's just a very stable and reliable way to take down barrier champions there are other ways but this is what i find to be uh the most straightforward way to do it now my patron at lost lost causes has got osmosis so Anytime I throw a grenade, it becomes a void weapon. And as you'll see here, I start, I start on the champion. I broke the champion shield, and then I'm going to put a grenade just to put more damage on and try and get back to him real quick. Because I forgot about those two goblins. So what you're going to have here, this is an additional champion. Normally, it's just, it's just normally a harpy. So what you're going to have here is. Couple of minotaurs. So in this area, I think I think on the 980 you've got uh, three champions in this area, uh, four minotaurs, and a couple of hobgoblins, maybe eight all in. So use your grenades, uh, especially on the hobgoblins, uh, on the minotaurs. Really, really easy to take them down. And I've kind of made my character, I've set my character up to do things from range. And I, I found it to be the easiest way to deal with it. So there's not much strategy here apart from uh, keep yourself safe. Do it, do it, do it from range. And I'm going to charge a grenade and throw it over here and try and do a little bit of work on the Minotaur. But I think I actually threw it too far because I've got I've got that uh, mod on my arm piece uh, that allows you to throw grenades further and anybody that's anybody that knows anybody that's been watching the channel for long enough knows that i sometimes have what we call in the uk a brain fart and the name of something just goes it'll come back to me because i, I put it on all my gauntlets so as you can see once you've cleared out all the enemies i'm going to go for this last champion now these are the last hobgoblin champions you're going to face for anybody that's wondering and even if you're not i'm, I'm going to say it anyway the reason why I keep changing to my heavies, not to finish the ad, I've obviously, I've master worked my Ariana so it reloads, it's auto load and holster. So it gives the weapon a chance to reload without me having to do that kind of clumsy hang, it's got a real bad reload without uh, auto load and holster. So I give myself a chance, I, I switch to another weapon and give it a chance to reload so I'm still, I'm, I'm being consistent in my damage. So in this area, what we're going to do is we're going to try and do as much damage as we can to these ads from up here. And the champion, as you can see on the left, the champion's just coming out. Now we're dealing with the Cabal champions. So I've thrown my Nova. That will track down left. And that will take those ads. It'll take a lot of those ads. Uh, you'll see we've got four there. But obviously the tracking, you'll see uh, we got seven seven of the ads that that's good because a few of them were were scions and the scions here can be they're not superly difficult but they can be troubling especially as you can see it puts it was putting me off seeing their laser sight so you just want to be careful the the patron the one i've got has got osmosis and rapid hit it's also got a range masterwork so it does more range than most of the patrons that i've ever had so i'm gonna i'm gonna attack this champion now so we'll break the shield and just try and get those yellow numbers. So I actually messed up this. As you can see, that's I messed up. That's why I, I, I switch weapons because sometimes you just can't put down the champion just, just by hitting alone, just by one clip of Ariana. So we're going to put a few on and then we're going to switch. 
and as you can see you get good damage and then we'll switch back to the Arianas because it's reloaded and that's the way it should be still a couple of enemies up uh, but th that's basically this area done so the next area is, is basically where Cargan is on the plate and you've got to get onto the, you've got to get onto the plate you've got to build uh, charge the plate to drop drop that kind of defensive shield over the portal you're going to get waves of ads well on the 950 which is i done the, i done a hunter run last time which is why i'm doing the warlock this time uh on 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 the, on the 950 you've basically got six waves three waves of two gladiators and a, and and a whole host of dogs and in between those you've got three waves of unstoppables and dogs well here the unstoppables you're going to have two each wave so you the six champions here now i've decided to kill everything i'm not going to skip anything i'm going to kill everything because in one of my last videos even though i'd done a solo nine nine uh 980 somebody called me out that i hadn't killed all the champions so i hadn't got platinum we're going to get platinum this time so as you can see Cargan's Cargan's done his make sure you're not on that plate when he does that because that's quite a powerful ground attack he's got. So I'm charging a grenade and what's gonna happen you'll hear it's like you'll hear like almost like a distant gladiator scream. Uh like a like a a, a war cry. As soon as you hear that, throw the grenade at, and you get it every time. It's like a cabal kind of roar. Uh now we're gonna get the two unstoppables. Now you'll see normally the other times that i've done this i haven't thrown my grenade at the ads so uh, my my super at the ad so i've had a super for this point so where i've gone now you can back away round to this side now i've got void battery void battery on so when i put down uh, a rift i'll just stop him as well when i put down a rift i'll get an overshield which is quite helpful as you can see, that's quite helpful for being attacked. So, this is as far as they'll come. They won't push further up on you. Now, it won't happen every time. We'll be able to sort, sort them out normally before they get to us. Now, the reason why there's still an ad there is because that ad glitched into the wall. It happens sometimes. Another thing that can happen here, and you have to be careful of it if you want to get the score, because when we come out of here, we're going to have 100,000. So... A dog will get sometimes get trapped in that little behind that little wall on the right. If you keep going up to that wall, eventually the game will teleport the dog out of there. And uh, as long as the dog's there, you won't get any more ads. So you have to make sure all the dogs have been released from that that kind of pillar. So pretty cool. That's the the second wave of gladiators. So we've, the next wave is going to be two unstoppables and dogs. We're just collecting a bit of ammo, but more so. I'm waiting to get my grenade. I want my grenade. I'm going to get my... And, and, and I had a problem here. You'll see. Wait to get your grenade. Because now the dogs have come out. They've separated. One dog pushed. And nearly killed me with the Nova. I nearly killed myself. The dog never nearly killed me. Make sure you've got a grenade for going on to the plate. Because that 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 would be almost a travesty. If that, if that dog had a killed me. So I'm having to back away. Normally, that would have killed one of them. I'll stop both of them here. And we'll just move around to the left. Now, the the, the champion's kind of melee attack. What it does is it's obviously a fiery attack. So what it does is it, it does initial burn damage, but it also does explosive damage once you've been hit by it. So there's one champion down, so we'll just load in more unstoppable shot. And finish him off. There we go. So, the the moral of the story is: wait to get your grenade, and then as soon as you get your, as soon as you hear that cabal roar, then we're going to put it right down at the front. That'll clear all the dogs, and we can kind of do a bit of work on the ads. Now we want to melee. I was hoping I had a charged melee, I didn't. So I'm going to get my grenade here. This is the way it should have worked the last time. And then once we've cleared these these uh, enemies, we'll stop this champion so he takes a bit more damage. And as you can see, we're doing good damage with the Arianas. That's one done. Uh, and what I do when I'm charging the unstoppable shot is I'm also waiting 
I'm waiting to hear the click from my my Arianas to say that it's reloaded before I actually fire. So this looks like there's still a dog up. Oh, hello, doggy. So that that's this area. Once we get into the next area, there are so many champions. We've got a champion that spawns straight in. We want to clear the ads because we've got a, a champion and a wanted enemy. We're going to clear out the scions on the right hand side first. Then we can charge a grenade and we can throw the grenade. Clear off the ads and then we'll get the second wave of ads. The, the first like true wave of ads out. But with every wave of ads now, you're going to have a couple of champions. So there's a champion when you go in. A couple of just normal centurions. There's a couple of uh, yellow bar centurions majors i think and then when the first wave comes out you're gonna have majors you're gonna have normal and then two champions once you pick the orb up there's gonna be a champion up where you slam and then for the second wave you're gonna have two barriers and unstoppable then when you pick up the orb you're gonna get another barrier that will appear up by you and two barriers over by where you would slam the orb so a lot of barriers a lot a lot of champions in this run now as I've said, we'll, we'll just get in here. We'll clear these two, and then we'll make it up here. Don't go too far up here because you'll you will get the next wave of ads to spawn before you finish clearing this this wave. So this is really about as far up as you want to go. And as you can see, we took out a whole host of ads there with a grenade. The grenade and the super do a lot of work in this and 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 uh in this nightfall. There's no no denying that. The other thing you want to be mindful of is. So we, we want to break his shield. You want to be mindful of... We'll switch now and let us get the auto reload. You want to be mindful of ammunition. You don't want... You don't want to get yourself into a, a situation too often where you're really struggling for a, a certain type of ammo. So time isn't a factor in this nightfall. Time is not a factor. And, and if I'm being 100% honest, this is probably not even... There will be better weapons... Uh, to do this with but the reason I chose to stick with these weapons was because they're very easily accessible and usable for 90% of the you know the player base the community so uh, literally if you guys see it being done with weapons that are quite easy to acquire then it gives everybody a bit of hope that they can actually get through this so I've come up here I'm going to wait for this portal to open now sometimes sometimes you'll get a champion here sometimes the champion will appear out of this portal but I never really, I, I don't really bank on getting the champion there. Because I know the champion, if he doesn't come this way, there's one of the champions there. Now you'll see there's two, champ there's two actually two barrier champions, I believe, here. You need to take the barrier, for, oh no, there's, there's just the one, I'm, I was wrong. It's the next wave where there's two, that's right. You want to be careful here of which champion you take first. Right? You always want to take the barrier champion first because the next the wave of ads are the, the the trigger for the next wave of ads. As you can see there, I, I messed up there with the champion. It's not a big deal. So we'll break his shield, put a heap of damage, and then just get in him with the 21%. And it looks like I could probably kill him with the 21. You want to take the barriers down because it's the unstoppable that triggers the next wave of ads. It's the unstoppable that has the orb. So don't bother with nice shot on my grenade there, buddy. Don't bother taking down the unstoppable, then the barrier. You want the barriers first. So we're just going to melt these. Probably I'm doing too much work with the heavy, but it is what it is. So I'm going to switch to the other side because you get scions on both sides. So I'm going to switch up the weapon and just, I've got, I've seen, I've seen quite a bit of special there. Now, the, one of the modifiers you'll notice, when Scions die, they drop Void Wall Grenades. There's, and, and the Unstoppable here, you can see he followed me, but as you can see, it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal because he's not very mobile, he's not very fast. He will chase after you once he gets a bead on you, but he's not very fast. We'll stop him in mid-air here so that he, he, when he lands, he's, he's taking damage. And sometimes, I don't know if you can... You, it's... I don't know if it's transferring onto the screen the same way it did when I was playing, but just sometimes it feels like it. Maybe the Ariana's had a drop of range or something, but it feels like sometimes 
when you're attacking the ads or at the champions, the Ariana just seems to not do the same amount of damage. So we're waiting for all these ads to go over. The ads will go over to where you need to slam. And we're hoping to take. Now, if you watch, damage over time is how you get the grenade to come back fa quite fast with with, uh, with the controversial holds. It's not how many ads you actually kill with the grenade, you know. Now, I know it's random, which, is which you know, you would expect it to be. But even though it's random, it seems to me as if if you kill ads with with the, the grenade, just actually kill them by hitting them, you don't get as many as much grenade back. So try and land it so that the ads kind of jump into it. And there we go. We'll pick up some ammo. We'll go back and get the orb. And then we're going to hit the exact same place again. We're going to go to the left-hand side and attack the ads as soon as they come out of the... As soon as they come out of the portal. And this time, you're going to have two barriers up with you. Two barriers and an unstoppable and a heap of ads. You obviously get silence each side. Worthwhile trying to take care of those. But if you're on one side, the other side, they can get a look at you. And they, sometimes they'll fire at you. But they're not going to really have too much of a success rate. So we want to clear all these ads. The grenade will do that if you land it in front of the portal. Now you're going to have a couple of scions pushing up on you. Want to clear those because there's a portal left. There's two portals left, two portals right. That's where the ads are coming from. So you have to expect that what's coming on the left is also coming on the right. So as you as I say, I'm, I'm not. I'm trying not to just knee jerk my knee jerk reaction. My rift. Try not to do that because I want the rift for when it when it's super important to have it. If I take a bit of damage, I'm not. I'm not uh, straight away putting down the rift. As you can see there, the Scion took a look at me from the other side, but he's not really going to have a lot of success. So we've put that grenade down on that champion. He will then put his shield up, which is fine, because putting the shield up is what we're looking for. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll just get a bit of melt on with the heavy. Back to Ariana, because I didn't think I could finish him. And now I've only got three three special so i have to kind of go looking for special one of the other modifiers that's on i haven't really i don't think i said anything about it uh as uh one of the other modifiers is famine now just to explain what happened here why i charged and then stopped with my grenade because i know there's still some elite phalanxes up and they do the phalanx is really kind of weird here there they are so the phalanx is quite weird in this in this uh in this strike because they they do a lot of damage from from quite a lot of range. So now I'm just picking and choosing my targets here. I know I've got some phalanxes over here, some scions over here. Be worthwhile trying to take them out and see if I can get some special off them. And then I realized when I jumped up here there was a lot of enemies. So luckily I never knee jerked my grenade either. So I had a grenade to just put on top of them. There's the unstoppable. The unwanted unstoppable. Now I'm not attacking the barrier just yet. Because I, I feel like I need just a bit more ammo. So now we've got to break his shield. There's the ammunition I need there. And then I'm just going to Nova. And go after him with the heavy. Now we can get out of there. So... You know, you do have the Novas a very big and powerful thing at your a very big and powerful uh, weapon at your disposal. Don't be scared to use it because really you're not going to need it until you get to the boss. Really, anyway. So we'll just let let our unstoppable charge uh, reset and I'll finish him off. When you when you fire an unstoppable shot, you've probably noticed this yourself, but I'll I'll say it anyway for anybody that maybe doesn't know uh when you fire an unst the shot for the unstoppable shot there's a time until you can fire it again so as you can see here i've jumped up i normally don't come up this side i wanted to try something different so i came up and we're trying to do the same thing just with weapons now i've put down the rift because it's not a knee jerk rift it's a it's a good rift so now all the ads have bunched up making them a lot easier to take 
So I've sw I'm switching up weapons. I can see I've got a little bit of heavy there. And the Arianas is doing good good work. So now it's just me and all the ads have kind of pushed towards me. It's just me and the Barry. I can see I've got heavy and I've got a lot of special. Now when 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 you first look at a Barry, let's talk about that. When you first look at a Barry, he's going to attack you with those suppressing suppressive kind of rockets. So now what we want to do is when you when you break a barrier shield, you've got a little bit of time before before the uh when you break their shield they, they kind of uh you stun them they can't attack you i threw a grenade there you're going to see something else here that you, there's two champions at the end we'll go back to that about the, the barrier champions but i'll just explain why i'm switching position there are two barriers over 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 here one at the top one down at the bottom you'll see the one at the top in a minute because he will actually attack you from the top which is why I changed position. So I'll put a little bit of damage. And then go back to Ariana. I'm just going to put shield back up. We have broke it. Now I'm just assessing whether I can actually take him down with one clip. And I can. What you want to do in that position when you attack the first barrier champion. Make sure you're in cover from the second one. That's what I was trying to say. There's a barrier up top as well. And the ads will congregate. As you can see I'm charging my grenade. They will congregate up where you, at the side you're slamming at this time. So there's a couple of ads. There's always a couple of these ads here that kind of stay stay around where the where the the barrier champion. They they can they kind of spawn in with the barrier, but there's still ads up here. There's a bat as you can see that barrier smashing where the last place he saw me. There's a couple of these these guys. These guys are so annoying. The gladiators. So. What what kind of happens when, as I was starting to say, what happens when you uh, when you take a barrier down? You've seen me do it a couple of times. What I kind of do is is miss that that champion quite can, quite a lot. What I kind of do is I uh, sometimes I'll throw a grenade at the barrier. That's not such a clever way to do it. So now I'm going to head glitch this champion. We want to put his shield back up. We want to stun him. And then we're just going to Nova. So sometimes what I do is I throw a grenade at the, at the champion. That is not such a good idea because you've only got a couple of seconds to actually do work on the champion. And if you throw a grenade, you even though the grenade will hit him... The amount of time it's taken to charge the grenade, it's not worth it. Just go at them with weapons, because you can do immediate damage. So, when you get to that part, just to clarify, when you come in here, it's worthwhile clearing the scions from right and left. Uh, I always go right, I pick right side. Uh, you've seen the way I've attacked them, but I, I work, I clear a side, clear some of the ads in the mid, and then I work on the next side. Second wave, you're going to have two barrier champions and an unstoppable. One barrier will be if you're on the left hand side, one barrier will drop down to your right, the other one will be down by the unstoppable. Use boxes as cover, take you know, uh, use the, the channels of right and left where the portals are. And then once you pick your orb up, you're gonna get another barrier in the center and two barriers up at the back. So again I went up the side, I used my rift to give me some some uh some uh, protection. I used it, I used the 21%. You can use a charge grenade, but if you're using a loadout similar to this, you're wanting uh, something that can take the ads out quickly, that you don't need to worry about critting. You can just melt them. And the 21% kind of, it really does that. I've, I've got a minor spec on mine, so it, it does decent damage against the miners. And and then when you're making it over to the other side, uh, when you take, make sure you're the, the top champion you're in cover from him as you attack the, the 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 bottom champion, and then you can push up, use your grenades to take down the ads, and then finish off the next champion. So, looking at the time here, it's 24 minutes, which means this is an actually pretty good time. This is an 18 minute boss fight, which is really good because normally it takes as long to do the boss as it does to get here. So, kind of the way this fight's gonna work is you obviously you guys. 
know the, the way most of you will know the way this fight kind of pans out you're going to have dogs which we're, we're cool with and, and you're going to have i'm just going to charge a grenade and try and get some some damage on these dogs you're going to have dogs and then you're going to have these kind of normal red bar legionaries and you've got to capture this first plate to drop cargan right now as you can see we've got another wave of ads because we the the ads pushed onto the plate before you know it all depends as you can see i've taken a lot of damage there i'm glad i'm, I'm kind of glad that 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 is on the video because i want you guys to know how difficult it is to capture these plates with these ads coming in i think this boss fight could be one of the trickiest simply because to even start the boss fight you need to do this the idea is once you get on this plate is to be able to clear the ads pretty quickly when you're on the plate whilst being on the plate and that way you don't get a second wave of ads but it helped with score you can see we've got 210,000 at the moment we're probably going to lose quite a bit of that score so it's not a big deal now what we're doing is we're literally keeping myself safe at this back area he'll keep firing those shots you want to be careful of those shots they are really bad now we can throw a nova and then get back up in the air and get back behind these pillars right these pillars this pillar and that pillar in front of us are giving us dual protection his kind of uh i don't know what you would really call it that void attack but whatever it is it's nasty see this wall here that's that's more protection as well we'll throw a grenade as you can see i've tried to throw it so that it grabs the enemies and look look at the, the grenade bar almost went up to full there now that kind of void attack he does, it has two, two kind of, two, it's a double threat. The first one is this, where it actually hits you. Now that, as I said about that dual protection, I'm too close. The, the cover that's behind me to the left, if I backed up behind me to the left, as you see I cancelled that, this is the cover here. Because you've got, as I've said, you've got dual protection. You've got walls in front of you and, you know, this wall that you're, you're behind. So, you know, it's, it's actually got to make it at times through a couple of walls just to get to you. So what we're doing is, with Controverse Hold is really a good friend of ours here. We're waiting to get grenades because void damage has increased. We've set ourselves up well to do damage... Uh, to do damage to the ads but it was always going to be that uh the grenade and the super were going to be what we were going to use to actually damage cargo and we're doing we're doing okay now some people are going to question why i haven't got a weapon on a void weapon to do damage to cargo well actually and it was something again i set my weapon up i set my weapons to get here the reason i put my my my, uh, my patron lost saint, lost causes sorry has got uh, we'll just toss one right at the back here see if we can capture him and some ads uh, has got osmosis so every time I throw a grenade my primary becomes a void weapon which means it and you'll see when I'm shooting at him it actually does a fair bit of damage to him so even though I'm saying I haven't set my character up to do damage to him I actually did. And now, as soon as a wave of the ads goes, Cargan then figures it's, it's his time to shine. And we'll get another grenade on him. And hope that it takes down the ad in front as well, but it didn't. But just getting that damage over time on Cargan alone is enough to get a bit of recharge on my grenade back. Like I say, I, I, I you know... I used Vor uh, you could have had I could have had Vorpal weapon on, but I really would have had to. In fact, no, I would probably go with Vorpal next time. Vorpal weapon would have been a better better option, really. I I used Osmosis because I was worried about void shields at the end, and you know. But actually, the other thing I haven't said about this this position I'm in, the only thing that will push you in this position is Cargan, and he pushes you almost when he's you know he doesn't have a lot of health left. That's when he'll push. He doesn't really push too far, but he will start coming up to the back here to try and challenge you, you know. So, 
but I was worried about the void shields. I was worried about having to wait for grenades for the void shields. So I decided probably the best thing to do would be to have a weapon that could actually, every time I threw a grenade, would do a bit of work. So as you can see, that's Karkin went in his position. So I'm just going to go and grab some ammunition real quick. And now this is where, the, this is the trickiest part of it all. So what I've done is, I know there's, a, there's, there's enemies, so I'll just put a grenade there. No, it's it really is a game of cat and mouse. This is where the time comes from the end, really. The time comes from trying to get the pos the, the right amount of ads. And you can, these 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 guys are quite annoying. It's about getting the right amount of ads for us to be able to tackle, to to take the plates, and then even though you know we've got we've got a heap of these, so I'm just going to throw my Nova. And then, we, we, luckily, we had we, that never killed us. Luckily, no, I'm saying luckily because I was expecting my Nova to clear more ads. So I'm just going to pick up more ammo, more heavy. So the plan there, as I was saying, you want. I would never. If I could go back and have a look at this again, I would never try and take a plate when the Centurions, when the Gladiators were up. Taking the plates when the dogs are up are the way to go because the dogs are much more easier to, to actually, we'll just put this down, they've got to run through it. They're much easier to, to deal with than than the gladiators. So I always take this, I, well, I don't always, but in this, in this strike, always take, in this version, always take the, the middle plate first. And then... When you take the middle plate, now, you, now you've got left and right to take. It gives you a, 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 an advantage over the ads because you, you draw them into one side. Draw all the ads to one side. Now we're trying to take this guy down. We're not actually trying to draw him anywhere. We just want him dead. And there's a bit of heavy there. I'll be wanting that. You want to draw them from side to side. And make sure you can actually do stuff to them when you get them to the other side. So as you can see, I had a grenade. I've put putting down a rift. Even if you put down a rift, you might still die. It's not putting down a rift doesn't doesn't mean you're gonna get that plate. You know, I'm I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and we got it. So as you can see, I wanted the correct amount of ads up, which was only a couple that I could kill. And be fighting them when I'm on the plate. So that wh when I'm on the plate, I'm fighting them, I'm killing them. The next wave won't come out. The next wave won't come to me until I've... I've got no heavy left now. The next wave won't come until... Until you've got a set amount of those enemies dead. Not have... Obviously with famine being on, it's, it's really difficult to, to, to make this... You know, a very straightforward thing because the ads aren't very easy to put down. Arianas does does decent against these guys, but we got heavy, so we're going to run through this and hopefully, hopefully that will help. Now we're going to go to go to the side we need to go. There's more heavy. Now I had double machine gun scavenger on, and was getting at times thirty rounds, thirty rounds from a brick other times i was getting about 130 i would like some clarification on how uh how ammo scavenger works so put that on there we're going to land try and get over here now we know there's still dogs up we've got four rounds that's it now We'll put a grenade on this guy. And we're not going to be able to take it because we'll throw one over him. I'm, I'll go back and see. But unfortunately, and this is another thing, and it's another thing I think Bungie should really, really think about. If you throw a Nova at void shielded enemies and you break their shield, that is enough to finish your Nova. The Seekers won't come out because the explosion will will end end your Shriekers. So, 
ha having an over on on void void uh, shields is not great. So as as you can see, I'm just tr what I'm trying to do is just get the ads to bunch up. There's only a couple of gladiators, and they've ran to the the other side, but now we're getting a whole host of ads. So what we're going to do is just go the the go down the middle. We might not be able to take the plate, but we want to clear as many of these ads as possible. And there's more heavy. I've seen the heavy. We want these ads to kind of stay on us. Get them on into the grenade. That's, that's a good grenade. We got we got a grenade straight back. We know we've got heavy. So we'll go for this heavy. And this, if when we get dogs, you can see there, I got 129 from that one. That's uh, another, br another brick of heavy. So now... We've got two bricks of heavy over there there's dogs coming so we're going to put a grenade down on those dogs there's more dogs coming round we just the dogs are the best one to actually actually push actually try and take a plate while the dogs are up we'll just go and get this heavy we've got a grenade ha having a grenade for for the dogs is good but as you can see what happened, I had a grenade for the dogs. And and I never had a grenade for for the other dude. So here, this is the perfect thing. This is this is almost perfect. We're fighting the ads. They're coming at us one at a time. We've still got a little bit of heavy. Put we're saving a grenade. Now the other thing about the grenade the charged grenade is when you charge it and you've got controverse holds on uh you'll get uh a damage protection now i said about the void attack from cargan one of the biggest problems with the void attack from cargan is when it's on the ground the the the, the kind of energy trails are left on the ground they can they can kill you very easily so you have to be very careful not to walk through those there's still a heap of these guys up. And unfortunately, we threw a grenade and everybody ran out of it. <laughs> so it can happen sometimes. So now we're just going to clear these ads. We don't want them hiding around the corner. And, you know, if we if we do, which which we do at one point, we, we do get a bit low on, on ammo. So that's the last of those out. So now we've got, we've got one over. We want to put a grenade down. We want... You know, but the, obviously having a Nova is really good. But the Nova kind of didn't do the work I wanted it to do. It seems as if it got broke before it even happened. So now, from this position, because you're safe here. As I say, the only person that will push you is Cargan. And he'll push to about where that wall is. We'll put that grenade down. That's a good grenade. A lot of enemies there. Uh should do well in getting my grenade back you could see the amount of, the amount of damage we were getting the amount of damage we were doing uh helped us get that grenade back pretty quickly and that's what you want just take your time when you're here don't make any rash decisions don't go push it don't throw your grenade there that's not good so don't make any any good position don't don't push any s silly positions uh, make sure that you're you just stay in this area. Stay in this area and you're good. Be careful when he fires because sometimes, as you've seen earlier on, sometimes it goes through the wall. But from where you are here, you are, you're safe. You, you Literally, you're waiting for abilities and your super. There's no need to go rushing in and because 90% of the time you can have a real good run and it's one bad decision that, 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 that makes it all kind of fall apart. Now he's pushing up a little bit more. You see what I'm saying? He won't very rarely. In fact, I don't think he does ever come behind this wall. So a lot of ads there. We'll just drop a grenade. That's a good grenade. You see all those numbers coming off. It should help us get quite a bit of grenade energy back. Which it did. We'll just keep peeking. Keep doing the damage on him. Now he his lines are quite easy when he when he throws his when he throws his void attack his lines are quite easy to predict almost 
just make sure you don't land in them. And even even when you see, as I've said, even when you see that energy trail on the floor, make sure you're you're not going through it because it will kill you even while it's on the floor. You see those energy trails on the screen. And that is basically it, guys. All we're going to do, there is one more kind of thing that will happen, as a, uh, which is he will push up here. Not, up, not, not quite up to where we are, but he'll push for, closer to us. There are two positions you want to take when he does that, and when he pushes there, I'll show you exactly where they are. But this, this, this is basically the end of the run, guys. All we're doing is waiting for grenades and trying to capture as many adds in the grenades with him as possible because he takes that explosive damage as well. And the more adds you hit, the more grenade energy you get. As you've seen, I've got a full grenade back there. Drop that on the adds. The adds, sometimes it's, it's better to actually put it on the adds and hope that you get a full grenade back from the adds, as you see we did there. And this time I'm going to drop it right on him. And hopefully that... Uh, Hopefully that and Cinder walks into it, which he did. And this is what I'm talking about. Now he's going to start getting a little bit, a little bit closer, which is cool for us because we've almost got, we're very close to having our Nova. Now the Nova probably won't kill him, but it'll make him think twice about coming back up here. So, as I said earlier on in the video, I try and keep my rift for situations where I'm really going to need it. I don't pop it for any reason, you know. And this is the first position that you can take. Now, I wouldn't stay here, but it's a good position. It offers a little bit of protection from the center. He will then move. Then you can get back into your position. A load of ads there. We're just going to put the grenade on the ads just to clear those. And we've almost got a super. Now we've got our super. So now we're looking for him. There he is. We'll throw one over at him, which should, he's got nothing left, as you can see. And we'll finish him as soon as we get our health back. Don't push when you don't have health. As you can see, he, he doesn't come past the wall. And now what we'll do is we'll throw that grenade on him, and that should be the end of it. Now, the timer keeps going after you finish the run. So it was actually a 41 minute just about a, just under 42 minute run but the timer keeps going you keep losing score 193,000 we'll take that guys thank you very much for watching the video guys i hope this helps you you get through it um have every faith that everybody can do this one take it easy guys good luck with your runs and i'll see you in the next video and it's seriously corrupted metadata says it was last accessed by an otzot centuries ago what is Oxa? And who is Otzot? Those are questions for another day, I suppose. But for now, well done.